this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, I'm glad you're back and I hope you're still staying safe. And I pray, Lord, that, that, that this pestilence, and I pray that we're in agreement that this pestilence be arrested and stop expanding. We're starting to see some glimmer of hope. We're starting to see the, the, the curve, the cases of cases going, starting to flatten out in some areas. And we pray, let's pray, that we don't have some more, some more places flare up. Uh, we pray that this social distance continues to work. Uh, there's a lot of people been affected and we start to see the results of people expiring uh, passing away because of that and the situation is so bad that uh, family people are dying alone at least they're not dying uh, they're not dying totally alone because they're the nurse doctor and staff all that with them but they're not with their family members and, and it's just people that probably even get a chance to listen to this video down or one day and and, and, and it's going to be the, the reality of not being with their loved ones. And that, that's, that's very painful. And, and I just want to just keep praying for the Holy Spirit to comfort those who lost loved ones. Uh, we also got to pray that, you know, the situation gets settled and bring in control so some of those loved ones can at least have a proper burial. Right now there's stuff in people and, and, and freezers, units. Uh, there's a quite a lot of stuff going on, but we're still seeing that maybe that, that those cases are starting to drop in the hospitals, not getting new cases, just dealing with the cases they currently have. So let's keep praying and just trusting in God. And the uh, study we had today uh, for Sunday, the 5th of April, uh, the topic is called Now Faith Is Dash, Not If. Faith is. Faith is now. And it's not an if. It is now. And the thing about it, I want to show the scripture we're using that, that's Hebrews 11, 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. See, what we see right now, we're seeing people dying, we're seeing people getting sick, we're seeing that the, the country is shut down to a degree, we're seeing a lot of things happening. But we also need to understand that there are things going on in the spiritual realm that's going to give us victory. And we're going to hold on and believe in God that we're going to have victory in the situation. And that's what I'm saying is where the church comes in. Those of us, if you're not a nurse or doctor, you're not a medical staff, you're not a scientist, <clears throat> you, our weapon is, is prayer. To pray that this thing comes under control. Pray for our leadership. Pray for our country. Pray for the people in this world. You know, it says right here, Hebrews 11, 6, For without faith it's impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And I'm saying that you can seek him in the home. It's not in the four walls of the buildings. It's not in the big sanctuaries or the small sanctuaries. It's, it's, it's in your home. It's in your car. It's wherever you want to get on your knees or get into a place, a quiet place, and seek Him and ask for His guidance. Faith is now. And yes, He'll be in the big sanctuary, He'll be in the small sanctuary, but He is always with you and you can seek Him wherever you are. While we're keeping that social distance so we don't give that enemy that opportunity to, to be spread from one person to the next, we're going to sit there and say, no, we're not going to give you a bridge to expand. We're going to limit you. Amen? It says here in Romans 17, because this is us, it says, For there is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. We live by faith. We live by hope. Hope in things that, that you can't see in the senses. It's hope in the things that we want and expect in reality to be manifested. We live by hope and expectation, not by dread, not by fear, but by faith. It says right here, Romans 3, 3. For what if some did not believe? And that, that's for my non-believers out there. I got you. We got you. We understand where you're coming from. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? The point is this. And verse 4 said, God forbid. 
<laughs> Let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sayings, and mayest overcome when thou art judge, judge in this present time. Some people say, well, why are you praying to, to something you can't tangibly show? Because it's by faith. That's what faith is about. If, if, if I can see it, if I can touch it, that, that, that's not faith. You know, if you, you, if you want to depend on the doctors and, and you don't even know the doctor, you have a faith in the ability of mankind to come up with a solution. I have, I have faith in God who gives the gifts of mankind to help come up with a solution. I have the faith of God that gives people who recover from these disease to build an immunity that can be used and shared to help others be healed. Hey, faith in God. They don't cover, you don't close any avenues out. You don't stop science. You don't disregard science. You go and pray that in spite of what is available, what is seen, don't lose hope. Have faith. Have faith that God has created us, created all of us with gifts. And some of those gifts are scientists, some of those gifts are doctors, some of those gifts are the medical profession, the researchers. Just He gave us those gifts. Allow those gifts to be manifest to come up with a solution. He gave us the, the ability to make decisions that, that, that will cause this thing to be arrested. Let's stand in the gap, saints. Let's stand in the gap. Hey, and even you unbelievers, let's stand in expectation. I call and one of my uh, 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 children. I said, "Put on, put, give happy thoughts, happy thoughts of expectations, not dread." Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And just remember what the title is: Now faith is. Now's the time for prayer. Now's the time for expectation that we're going to have a victory. Amen. It's not an if; it is a when. And faith is now. Amen. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you next time. Part B. This is part A. God bless. Bye-bye. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. Father, you said when two or three are gathered in your name, you'll be in the midst of them. Heavenly Father, we now invite to see the presence of the Holy Spirit in the midst of this conference, Lord. In the midst of this video streaming audio and video, we pray, Lord, to come in and, and anoint us to do, do to get into your word, understanding of your word, understand what's going on today. Father, we also lift up in prayer what's going on with this pestilence, this, this, this coronavirus in the name of Jesus. We ask it to be arrested. We pray for the blood of Jesus over every saint that's out there. We pray for every non-believer in the name of Jesus. We ask Heavenly Father, to let, this is the time to allow the church to, to rise and shine and to pray and say, this is a victory. It comes from the Lord. There's going to be a situation where no one can sit there and claim any victory except for the Lord. And the fact that the body of Christ is standing in the gap. Amen. Standing in the gap right now in the name of Jesus and saying, this virus, you will be arrested. We pray for those mm -hmm. currently Lord, going to the healing. Those who are fighting this virus in the, at the critical stages. Those that are in the ICU. Those in the hospital. Those that have been that this is in the homes and fighting this virus. We ask, Lord, to give them victory. We ask them, Father, yes, for Lord. deliverance. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this cut. We live all the leadership. We live with all the medical staff. We definitely pray for the medical staff right now because they're the ones on the front line of this battle. We pray for Amen. all the nurses and the doctors. We pray for the first responders. We pray for everyone that has to go and confront this virus. We ask them, Father, to give them protection. Give them the things they need. We may say covered them by the blood of Jesus. We ask, Lord, regardless of whether you believe it or not, that your will be done and victory of healing shall be accomplished. We're saying this, Lord, and we're lifting up the name of Jesus, and we're doing it in our homes. We're doing it connectively, corporately, in the spirit of Christ, knowing that you're the one that we look up to in this time of need. And we give you the praise, the glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hey, what my fact is going forward with what we was talking about, but the scriptures, I want to, first of all, the title I got here, check this out, I think you'll I think like this scripture. It, it, is, it is biblical anyway, but it's saying, knowing him means now faith is, not if. Faith, 
faith now is faith, right? Now faith is. is. No, faith is. Not if. It's not an if. It Amen. is, right? So faith yeah. is now. And then and the Bible, Bible Christ wants us to live now. You know what I mean? And by faith in the victory that comes through us. So we're going to live and we're going to move by faith. And faith is what? The substance of things hoped for, right? Matter of fact, I put it in Hebrews 11 1. Can you see it, Brother Addison? Yes. Is there, and I, as y'all notice on my slide, I, I emphasize the ears. That's, that's a yeah. present, right? That, that, yeah. that's, a, that's now, right? Now that's faith it. is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders <laughs> obtain a good report. <laughs> and all right, Brother Elder Johnson, they, they say yeah, about yeah. this. Verse 2 says, for by it, the elders obtain a good report. And that's why we as believers need to go ahead and make sure that we get a good report by operating it now, by operating by faith now. We're not going to be operating based on what we see. We're going to operate based on what we don't see. Amen? That Amen. Will move. And I put it in here, look, in verse 6 says, Hebrews 11, uh, verse 6. But without faith, Brother Addison, <laughs> it's impossible to please him. Amen. See, we're gonna, if we're going to fight this, we're going to confront this battle. If we're going to confront this virus. we got to do it by faith. And that's what God looks at by faith. For he that cometh to God, and that's what the whole purpose of the body of Christ, like you said, Elder, this is where the body of Christ, whether we're in our homes or we're out on the street, we come to him. Amen. And that he is a reward of those who do what? Diligently seek him. Diligently seek him. This is trying to, I think that's where it's time now that rise and shine, even when we're talking about the Passover, is the fact is that that you have to seek him. You got to seek him. He's there for us. He opened the door. We're connected to him. We already got, we talked about last week about that computer. We got, we got the connection. We, we got, we are part of the network. Now we just got to be able to receive the patches. We got to receive the updates. We got to receive the, 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 the healing to our land through the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The other one, now, look at this. I put it here last week, too. This is Romans 117. I didn't put it last week, but I, I then I applied it. It says, for therein, this is Romans 117 for those who, uh, now you got to keep up with the, with, the, with the Bible. The rest of y'all can see it on the slide. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, Brother Jackson, the just Shall what? Live faith. by faith. Amen. As we, find, as we go ahead, this is a time where the body of Christ, when I was talking last week, Isaiah 6 is rise and shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. He didn't even talk about the fact is that the force of the Gentiles shall come towards you as we operate in faith. This is the time in the time of crisis where the church rise and shine. Not uh -huh. to do the things that some of them, you know, and the thing about it is we don't have to go to a building. We have to sit there and believe and trust in him. You know what I mean? Amen. It's corporately, we are corporately, because this is a spiritual warfare. And corporately, we need to be able to come together in prayer, in agreement that we want this virus to be arrested. Huh? Uh huh. That's what right, we need to right. do. We don't need to sit there. I know some churches, uh, you know, the guys, some people have been arrested, still having services. And, and we're talking about that, Brother Asen, before you came in, is the fact is that, yes, you're covered by the blood of Jesus, but you don't walk into a burning house. You don't, you don't go in there and be, and understand, I even got the scriptures in there next where Jesus was talking about the fact of the temptation of Christ. Yeah. The, the devil tried to get Jesus to commit suicide by saying, just, just, the angel's gonna cover you. You covered by the blood, yeah. brother Adam. Go ahead, yeah. Jesus. Jump off, yeah. jump off the cliff. Cause you covered by the blood. 
Well, that's the same thing here we're talking about. It. He tell you go into the burning house. He tell you sit there and be use wisdom and don't tempt the Lord thy God. Amen. Right. Now, Amen. Here's, the other, here's the other scripture I want to put in there. Then, then we can move that forward. I give you guys a chance to come in, but I want to at least get these foundational scriptures in here. Uh, Romans chapter three, starting at verse three. I get a chance for those who are looking online. If you got your Bible, you got to keep up. Ain't nobody about to ask it. They got to keep up. I keep up. <laughs> you got to keep up. This is Romans. Oh, take chapter notes. <laughs> take notes. Write it down. Romans chapter 3 and 4. It says, <laughs> for what if some, this is, this is dealing with the situation. Because I said faith is now. It's not if. Right? It says in verse 3. For what if some did not believe, Brother Addison? He said, what, 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 what if some do not believe? The scriptures share their unbelief. Come on now, y'all. Make the faith of God without effect. With somebody unbelief, make the faith of God for those of us who are standing in the gap, those who are believing in God. Would the unbelief of others make God, faith of God, without effect? The scripture said, God forbid. You got that, Brother Jackson? Oh, I'm looking at it in my Bible right now. You see it right there? God forbid, ain't it? Huh? Amen. Amen. But he said, hey, Brother Jackson, it doesn't matter whether they believe or not. Yeah. <laughs> Our does. faith is in who? Our faith is in God. <laughs> Amen. I pray for God. He said, for God, he said, God forbid, yea, let God, woo, let God be true. Yes. But every man, you got that brother, Elder Johnson, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy saying, Elder. And Midas, hey, Brother Addison, I like this part. <laughs> now, mayest, Midas, overcome when thou art judged. Amen? Amen. Now, that that I want to talk about. Go Romans ahead, brother. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> this is what, what I'm looking at. God is not going to judge the just. Come on. So this overcoming is uh -huh. from when the enemy tries to judge you. Well, the world tries to judge you, judge you even by your living by your faith. You know? Uh, matter of fact, let me give you an example before you jump in there. Don't forget the fact that when David did, I ain't, we ain't talking about the end time judgment. This is talking about now, right? Yes. This yes. is talking about the fact that when David was going up against Goliath, he was being judged then. He was first judged by his brothers, right? What do you come down here? Why are you back there with those few little sheep you both be minded? Huh? He, right. was judged by, he was judged by Saul. Saul sit there and said, boy, you can't go against this. You can't, you can't go against this giant. You, you, this giant has been, this giant is just too overwhelming. Too, too, this giant been. Been a been a warrior since his youth. This virus, hey man, this is a giant. This is a giant. Uh -huh. it was with, huh? And 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 if, if you go by the world and say you you can't go against this. But even Goliath sit there and say, Am I am I a dead dog that you go cover me with a stick? Yeah. That, hey, brother Chris, how you doing? What's going on, bro? <laughs> Hey, you get you got the uh, Facebook video. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to find right now. Okay, okay. Well, then we have to we have to bring you catch. We we'll let you catch up on where we at then. But okay. well, I just with the, some of the fact is we're using the this virus is just like David and Goliath. There's a giant that we're facing, and judgment is when David was going against that. When David started talking. Smack back to the to the giant. Versus brothers to them say, you can't deal with this. This is this is this is just too much for you. You need to go on back to the little sheep you've been reminding over there, right? 
And, okay. and then right. and then Saul, Saul said there and said, boy, you can't you can't deal with this. But I said, Saul, you can't deal with this. You can't deal with this. This is just too much. And even 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 Goliath sent there and told David. <laughs> he said, uh, am I a dead dog? Then you gonna cover me with a with a stick? Because but David said, you come with all your contagion. You come with all your ability to move from one human to another human. You come all the way from China. When I come, we come in the name of the Lord. That's Amen. how we have to understand. We come in the name of the Lord. We don't come based on the, 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 the wind or the touching or the air. We, we we don't come by the senses. This thing ain't moved by the senses. This thing has to be moved and transferred from human to human, putting on different kinds of contaminating the, the surface. But we come in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We affecting people by faith, by the spirit of God. And that's why it's time we said it's for the church to rise and shine. For the light has come. And the glory of the Lord shall be risen upon thee. That's what we're at now. That's what he wants us to do. And brother, brother uh, Chris, this is what we was reading, the last one. I, I'll do it real quick. Uh, Hebrews 1, 11, 1, we're talking about now faith is. The subject is called now faith is, not if. That's the difference. We're going by faith, not if. Because that's how the enemy comes in with an if on you. Jesus was tempted by the if. Adam and Eve was tempted by the if. We're tempted by the if, but we're going to go by the faith is, is what we're going to go by. So it said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And we say in verse two, for by it, the elders attain a good report. The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I just, I'm sorry. I just pulled up the, uh, the uh, Facebook. Oh, you did? <laughs> hey! <laughs> but uh, but the other part we said now faith but without faith Chris is, is impossible to please him for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he's rewarded them that diligently seek him we use Romans 1 17 for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith the just is justified by him, not by us, not by people. So anybody want to say, is Chris just? Is Ken Taylor just? He's just by God, not by people. Right. That's true. So it says the just shall live by faith. Those who receive Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior are now justified, not by their actions, but by their faith in Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. And then we did Romans 3, verse, uh, Romans 3, verse 3 and 4. For what if, Chris, you'll like this now. This is for you, brother. I, like, I think you'll like this one. It says, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Because that's, you know, brother, Adam, that's what's trying to transfer towards you. You see what I'm saying? If yeah. there's no faith in God, they're trying to make it un not be affect you or try to affect your faith because of their unbelief. And God, see what I'm saying? That's what I tell That's what I said. It's not about the end time judgment. It's about now. And there are people who don't believe now. But their belief or their unbelief does not have an effect on God, on your faith in God, is what I'm talking about. Because we're talking about the now. And that's why it said, verse 4 said, God forbid, yea, let God be true. And every man a liar, as is written, that thou mayest be justified. And we're talking about now, justified now. In thy sayings, now. Okay? Because right now you're dealing with a situation now. And your faith is what's going on now as we confront the situation now. Your faith is now justified in saying that might is overcome when thou art judged. We're talking about now. That's what I'm trying to say. 
It, that, that's the difference. Well, you know, I think that was the question you was asking, right? I think you was asking that question. So, Chris, that's where we at. And uh, we were talking about some other things, but we'll go, we'll move on to the next slide and y'all can jump in there anytime you want. Matter of fact, brother, brother Jackson, what's this verse right here? First Corinthians 118. For the preaching of the gospel, excuse me, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Amen. 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 And then the fact is that as we confront this virus, hey, we're talking about and we're lying in, we're tapping in on the power of God. I don't care if God want to give a doctor, a scientist. I don't care what God, how God want to do it, Brother Addison. I, I, Elder, what do you say? It don't matter how he does it. All we're doing is we're tapping into the power of God to confront this situation. And the thing about that, though, is we're not trying to do the, you know, the, Chris, we're talking about that some people have a church service despite the situation. We, 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 we want to make sure everybody, everybody on this video, we are not talking about going out and going into a burning house. <laughs> that ain't what it's all about. We're talking about the fact is that the enemy is coming to you anyway. He's coming to you. You don't need to make it easier for in a battle. To see, Chris and I have an army. The rest of y'all, you know, you know, God bless you. But, and and you don't when when you when you got artillery coming, you you don't want to be congregated in one area. You want to be spread out, and you want to go ahead and advance on the enemy. The enemy is trying to take you out, and you make it you make yourself an easy target. They're gonna do it. We're going to move by faith, and we're going to fight with the weapons of our warfare, which are not cardinal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. It is the armor. It is the weapons that we're supposed to use, and that weapon Man. for us is prayer. The weapons is for prayer. Now, the world, that's foolishness, but that's by fact. I don't know why the world concerned about it foolishness because Chris, right now, since I'm not a scientist, right now I'm not a doctor, right now I'm not a chemist, I'm not some mm -hmm. I, I have no other weapon but to use prayer. Sir. Yes, sir. Come on, <laughs> yeah, well, the world is using the news, this propaganda, they're using uh Passive information, information to make someone else look good, someone else look yeah. big. Yeah. That's what yeah. the world is using. They're using uh, the scientists, and uh, but we're, we're, we're using the one that created the science. Come on now. Come on now. That Come created on. this world. You know? Yes, sir. Uh, <clears throat> who, who better to put your faith in? Come on. <laughs> Because God uh, gave his gift, he gifted those people. You know, and and I, I I can somewhat understand it when I look at it this way. You know, I can't understand their unbelief. Right. And so I know they can't understand my belief. <laughs> well, you know, you know, I, you know, the thing about it, Brother Addison, is that there this these are the type of situations where people do look to God because. It is in the impossible realm, right? Yeah. The, the, you know, because even when uh, we, we give our president, he's trying to, and, and and I ain't trying to give kudos, but I'm saying this, he's trying to use that, 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 what do you call it? That false hope in the sense of saying, hey, we got to get these people back to work. Yeah. They, 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 we can't let this situation be bigger than the problem. But he's but, not looking at the people. He's looking at the economy. He's it's, yeah. it's all self motivated, you know. Right. Yeah, and I don't mean I don't mean to be harmful, but I understand is he wants to speak positive. He try to motivate, and I got I got where he's coming from. But you you if if you talk about if they talk about this foolishness to preach the gospel, it's foolishness to pre preach false hope. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if you say an economy. If if I put if this thing is devastating as it is now, as far as people need to keep a distance, and we sit there and say back because he was talking about back to the sports and back you know get the arenas 
are filled back up again and the church pews filled up again. It's, it's, the economy will be impacted even greater if we allow this pestilence to just go unchecked. Right now, the hospitals are already overwhelmed of the sickness, right? <clears throat> just matter if you sit there and just go ahead and ignore the, the protocols right now and go back to work. You have more people calling in sick. You have more people going into the hospital. You have more people dying in the streets. You have more people because they ain't got no ventilator to help them prolong their life and hopefully fight the battle. But the thing is that you 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 want to do it when God wants to deliver us. He's going to show that deliverance is going to occur. Matter of fact, I thought it was a glimmer of hope show the other day where they said this one guy that was uh, uh, made it through the, the virus, right? And they want to take his blood, his blood plasma and, and, and give that to other people. So nature herself is actually saying, I, I, I can come up with some countermeasures that the answer is in us. Right. Do you see what I'm hey, saying? Let me, uh, Go ahead. Let me, let me chime in and, um, on the two aspects that we were looking at earlier. The, uh, okay, first, when we talk about the, uh, the administration, and, uh, you know, they're looking at the economy. For me, uh, the thing is, is their motivation is wrong. Um, for the other folks who are going to church and congregating, I can see from a practical standpoint why they may be criticized. Their motivation is to say, hey, look, we're not going to let anything stop us from, from, Worshiping the Lord, and and we are wow. going to have faith that He is going to to cover us. Look at that a little different. I don't necessarily, you know, from my from my fleshly standpoint, I may not necessarily agree with that approach. They're distinctly different. So administration and and is concerned about uh, you know dollars and cents. You know, we got these guys, the 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 the, the, the huge investors that are out there saying, hey, look, man, we got to get things going back because I'm 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 about to fold here. You know, I can't play in this card game anymore. You know, that's that's a, a different scenario. Um, and you know, as we all look at uh, others are doing, again. You know, I, I'm I'm actually trying again going back to the judgment. I'm trying not to judge. Uh, yeah. However, I don't see love of you know from your lips. If I don't see love coming from your 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 behavior, then yeah. I'm I'm certainly going to be suspect there. I mean, right, right, right. And uh, so you know, I wouldn't. I'm I'm just hesitant to to criticize uh, a brother or a sister saying, "Hey, look, you know what." Uh, I, I'm going to church, <laughs> you know, I'm going to, uh, this may not be what the world says I should do. I got to look at the, you know, what's in their heart and they may suffer for it, but if they suffer for it, um, we're going back to what looks like foolishness. No, they may suffer for it, but is that for the glory of God? The fact that, Hey, in spite of what they may uh, have to deal with as a consequence, Looking towards the Lord. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I, 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 I just wanted sense. to say that to me, it's not glorifying God. It's not glorifying Christ. It's glorifying the church. No, go ahead now. <laughs> God is not the church. Come on now. Jesus Christ is not the church. Uh -huh. They're living within us. We are the church. Our church. And yes, this is a great time uh -huh. for the body of Christ to understand that it is not about those four walls. It is not it about is those four not. walls. God Come on now. is going to be God regardless if you if you uh, convene in a church Come or on not. Come on. And to me, this, this is an opportunity. It's a wake-up call. That, come on now. You know, we've, we, we've come so far <laughs> off the beaten path to me Woo! Woo! to where everything is about that church. 
You know, you 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 can't even get nobody saved unless you bring them to the church. Come on. So, uh, you can't get through your week unless you get to the church. Come on now. Bible study, Wednesday night Bible study. They're not even studying the Bible no more. Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on. It's all you about what... finances and 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 uh uh psychology, you know, studies and stuff during Bible. What, what does that have to do with God? What does Come that on, have man. to do with perfecting Come on. The, 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 the body to do the work of the ministry? So Come on, to man. me, going to church. Come on now. That, that, Come that, on. That's missing the mark to me. To me. <laughs> yes, sir. To get into that word. Yes, sir. Personally. Come on now. And to find who God is Come on. personally. <laughs> Come on now. Your personal relationship. I used to always say. How is Come your on. relationship with God, brother? That that's Come on. that's where it's it. That's where it's at. Come on now. Yeah. Hey, somebody ain't going into them walls. Hey, look. Here's the